Hey guys, it's Moonliner back with another horror movie review. And today we're going to be looking at the movie Possession from 1981. Possession. It wasn't even human. And I first heard of this movie when I was looking at lists of most disturbing movies ever made. Um, and I finally went ahead and bought this movie. And I think about the cheapest multi-format Blu-ray you can find of this movie is going to be minimum 40 bucks. But it is worth every penny. This is one of the most incredible movies I have ever seen in my life. I can't remember the last time I had a similar experience watching a movie. Um, it's more of a psychological horror and it definitely has a lot of different underlying meanings. And doing research before making this review, the director uh, wrote this movie while he was going through a divorce and you can definitely see it come through when you're watching this movie. The movie stars Isabella Angini and Sam Neill. And I wasn't aware that Sam Neill was in this movie. And I'm a big fan of his. And uh, after watching this, like, I'm an even bigger fan of his. I could not believe either one of these actors' performances. And Isabella Angini actually plays two roles. In her, uh, the main role as the wife in this movie is absolutely incredible. I have never seen an acting job played like this one ever. It's absolutely incredible. And according to the trivia, it took her several years to recover from playing this role. And she absolutely refused to ever take a similar role after this. Okay, so the good things about this movie. Okay, right from the get-go, you see the cinematography and the camera work in this movie is very unique and stylish. And it definitely adds to the feel and mood of the movie. And it, it's absolutely incredible as well. I really enjoyed the way this movie was shot. Probably the best thing is the performances by the main characters in this movie. Now this movie was banned until 1999 in the UK. And it, there was only a cut version in the U.S. until 1999 when they released a DVD. Um, and there's nothing too awful in the movie as far as, like, gore or, you know, sex or anything like that. But I believe this movie was banned mainly because of how powerful the performance were by the actors. And uh, just the way the movie is made, um, it's the, a big part of the movie, at least for the first half, is you see this couple's uh, marriage completely falling apart. And there's just something about the way it's done that is so real. And you just can feel the emotions of both the characters and, I mean, it just brings you there like uh, movies don't normally do. And uh, I think uh, that it just the realism and the powerful nature of this movie and the amazing way it was done uh, is probably had a large part to do with why it was banned. <laughs> Um, now, there's a lot of underlying things in this movie as well. 
uh, I'm not really sure what a lot of the things were about. Like you, you would have to definitely do some deep research to figure out um, what exactly the director was meaning by some things in the movie. Like, there's obvious things he wants to bring up. Like, um, he shows several times when Sam Neill's character looks out their apartment window and he's looking at some soldiers, like, guarding the Berlin Wall. The movie was shot in West Germany and uh, it was before the falling of the Berlin Wall. Uh, and what exactly, why he was showing that, I don't know. And also a major part is what exactly is meant by the possession. And it's, um, it is as if the wife is possessed by something evil. But at the same time, you kind of wonder, like... If the husband doesn't think of the wife as a possession and what manifested this possession in the wife and you actually see like a physical manifestation of the evil um, and you know I won't like give the ending away but it's very thought provoking it's a movie that you definitely are left thinking about and I watched the movie twice, uh, two nights in a row. I watched it once alone, and then I had uh, watched it with my wife so she could enjoy it too. And uh, yeah, there's a lot to think about while you're watching this and after it's over. Uh, it's just a very thought-provoking movie, and it's very interesting, and it's definitely like a window into the soul of the director. And there's definitely a lot of interesting lines in this movie. There's a part where Sam Neill's character tells his wife's lover that to him God is a disease. And the wife's lover says that it's through disease we can reach God. And there's tons of like provocative lines in this movie. Um, it's just full of stuff to think about. Um, I, I really enjoyed that about this movie. I, one more thing that I really enjoyed about this movie is it is a horrifying movie experience. And it's not in a traditional way. Uh, it's definitely like a psychological horror. And you just are left with a feeling of dread like the whole movie. I, it was amazing. I'll, I'll never forget this movie. So I don't have anything bad to say about this movie because uh, I just think it was incredible. Um, and uh, I can't remember the last time I had a movie viewing experience like this. Okay, my final thoughts on this movie are... I cannot suggest this movie enough for fans of film. Even if you don't like horror movie, this is such a piece of art and it's so well done. And the acting is so incredible that if you're a fan of film at all, this is a must see. It's absolutely incredible. I'm, if I'm ever going to give a movie a 10 out of 10, it's going to be this one. So I definitely feel confident about giving this movie a perfect score. Um, it's just such an en enjoyable experience and so well done that I, I have to give this a 10 out of 10. It is one of the best movies I've ever seen. I can say that easily without a doubt in my mind. Yeah, I'll never forget it. Um, and I'm glad I spent 40 bucks to get it. Um, it was definitely worth the purchase. And it's definitely a movie I don't think can be overhyped. But at the same time... I do feel like this is a movie that is probably not for everyone because it definitely seems like some of the more 
artsier, deeper kind of movies. They just kind of don't register with some film goers. And this is definitely not like your traditional movie for sure. Um, I, I know for sure I'm going to get more of this director's movies. Well, alright you guys, I could probably go on and on about this movie, but I, I just wanted to emphasize what a unique movie it is, how powerful the acting is, and I definitely want to suggest this movie to not just horror fans, but yeah, fans of film at all. It's, it's a great movie. <laughs> alright you guys, I'll see you on the next one.